Next up, we have Maya Georgieva coming at us from New York University, and her presentation is Innovation Lab, Apps, Wearable Tech Power, and New, experience, new Learning Experiences. Take it away, Maya. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. These are the words of the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, who urged individuals to discover what made them unique. Not surprisingly, he was inspired by Socrates, who met with his students in the marketplace in Athens and challenged them to think critically about the issues of the day. Kierkegaard and Sartre wrote about the importance of personal experiences, proposing that each of us is responsible for giving meaning to life and living it passionately. They raised provocative questions with no one single or correct answer. So what if questions are more important than answers? What if there were no predetermined courses of study? What if we charge our students to become explorers, pursuing questions that matter to them, questions that can become a catalyst for innovation? What if we create a new educational sphere, a new academy, one that focuses on connected learning and thrives on change, one that encourages experimentation and where students are not afraid to fail? What would this new learning experience look like? At New York University and the Stern School of Business, we, we are experimenting with new programs. We created the Stern Langon Lab, a two-day innovative orientation experience to give our students an authentic learning experience. We charge our students to become innovators, designers, and creators. We ask them to envision the products and services that will power the world of tomorrow. Students participated in a process of collaborative innovation, which propelled them to apply analytical rigor and creative intuition. They used iPads and apps to prototype their ideas and recorded digital stories. We not only spoke about innovation, but we also gave our students a first-hand experience with cutting-edge wearable technology. This tiny little camera, students wear the narrative club, crowdfunded on a Kickstarter project, recorded and walked their digital, digital stories. In two days, nearly 200 students experienced Glass, but in the future, every student will have a device like Glass, an invisible lens, a flow of contextual information that will power our understanding of ourselves and connect us with the world beyond, the growing Internet of Things, to create meaning and discovery. Lab is a call for action, during which we ask our students to be, as John C. Lee Brown says, entrepreneurial learners, to become the architects of their own education. In January of 2014, we captured the stream of images. We could see the moments of joy, insight, and wonder, but we barely scratched the surface. Very soon, wearable and adaptive learning technology will provide feedback tailored to each student. These personalized recommendations will inform future study and ask students to stretch their ability to learn. Experiences like lab have already been taking place, and in the future, we'll see more in cities, libraries, museums, universities, and corporate campuses, connecting students, teachers, and experts, sometimes in residence and sometimes online, forming a collaborative community to follow a passion, to make a contribution, to bring new ideas to life. Whether participating in a meetup, hackathon, or an immersive game, taking a course at NYU, edX, or Coursera, learning can happen anywhere today. The new learning sphere is built on digital platforms transcending borders and confronting educational practices on a massive scale. Yes, the social sphere Habermas once talked about is now gone global, all virtually interconnected, infused with the diversity of human experiences Kierkegaard once desired. In Academy of the Future, learning will take shape of a game with many quests and involving, involving many platforms and players driven by conversations and augmented with technology, an interplay of experiences, information, and new digital tools. I do not have a time machine and no selfie to share with you today, but I know that all of us here are passionate about this new academy, and to create it, we need to step forward to break free from the mode and open the space for new learning experiences to emerge, just like lab. For me, the future of learning is not classroom bound. No, the future of learning is the lifelong exploration of ourselves, our beautiful world, and beyond. Okay, Glass, let's create the future. <laughs>